Today I'm going to talk to you out of uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And I'm actually probably going to make this a series of, of worship minutes out of this chapter. It's got so much gold in this chapter in regard to worship and being a worshiper. Jehoshaphat in this chapter is the king of Judah. And he finds out that there's armies um, who gathered together and are coming down towards Jerusalem, towards Judah. Um, they're like 50 miles away when he hears word that they're on their way. And Jehoshaphat gives us such a great example of how and what to do when you're faced with a battle. The first thing that Jehoshaphat did is he led his people and himself in worship. The first thing he did is he prayed to the Lord. And he asked him for help in their time of distress. He said, we don't know what we should do right now. We look to you for help. And you know what they did? He led this thing, and it just, it's mind-blowing to me. They got armies coming down towards them. They, they, you know, everybody could be in panic. Everybody could be in chaos. He led them in a time of stillness. They were standing. It says the men of Judah were standing with their families waiting for the Lord. That blows my mind. I mean, how many of us, when we are faced with various trials, can say that we just seek the Lord and we stay still until we hear from Him? It's such an important concept as a worshiper. And Jehoshaphat gives us a great example of this. And so I'll tell you in the next worship minute about how this story actually unfolds and what they did as a nation, as a people who are worshiping the Lord, how they confronted this and, and how they ended up actually winning this battle. But for right now, I think my encouragement to you is, is to have a Jehoshaphat heart where whatever battle is coming towards you right now, whatever you feel is coming at you right now, that you would have the uh, frame of mind to be still, to rest, to pray, and to seek the Lord for what He alone can give us, and that's help in our time of distress. God bless you. I hope you're having a great worshipful week. Hope to see you this Friday at 7 o'clock here at church for our worship night where we are going to bow low before our King and worship Him.